With blend morphs, we are able to create some vector graphics and set directions for them. And then using the blend morphs panel, we can go in and tweak those directions with dials. So really it can make for some dynamic animations. What I did here was import an example of a blend morph object that is currently in the content library. You can find this object by going to File, Import, Effects, Blend Morphs, Partners, one more over, and then you can find the Blend Morph head. So now, if we look at this as the example, you can see that the head is animating in a variety of different ways. And it's actually really easy to create this effect. First, let's refer to the Blend Morphs window. So if we go to Window, Blend Morphs, you can see now we have a bunch of different dials. Left, center, up, left, up, left, down, and so on. Also, if you check relative to current, all these dials will play on one another. So if you have them looking left and then you choose up, he'll continue to look left and also look up. So there are some things you can play with there. Now, in order to actually create these actions, you need to use the Actions panel. So if we go to Window, Actions, you can see we have our panel here, and you'll notice that all the actions on the Actions panel reflect that of the Blend Morphs window. So let's say you create a face, and it's looking directly at the camera. It's a mug shot. What you would do then is you'd go to your Actions panel and make a new action, and you would label it Left, let's say, and then you can click OK. Now you would double click to go into the left action and you can see here now, if I move my windows, that we have the character facing left and that's all you do on frame one. This is the default and then you go in and you alter your points by moving the points around and make the character look left. Then when you're done, you go back out to the main line and now on your dials for your blend morphs, if we increase this, the more we increase it, the more left he will look. And this is how you do it for all of your actions. You just have to make sure that you name the actions the same as the blend morph dials on the window. So if you want him to look up, you'll have to label an action up and then arrange your properties to have the head look up. And that is how you do it. And as you can see now on my timeline, you can just go through and you can just adjust these dials. So I could go to, let's say, frame 26, and I could adjust my dial like so, and then hit apply. And you can see now keyframes have been created on my timeline for that blend morph. And that is how you would animate using blend morphs. One more thing I want to point out is that if you don't have your action set on the action panel, when you bring up your blend morphs panel, you will not have anything visible on the panel it'll actually tell you that this layer cannot be affected by the blend morphs. What you need to do first is create your actions on the actions panel and then go into your blend morphs. And only then, the only things, the only dials that will be available on the blend morphs window are those that are already set in the actions panel. So keep that in mind. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching guys. I have more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so be sure to check those out and I'll see you next time.